and welcome to another video. I'm Abby from Abby Charm Photography. Now, do you easily want to make photos like these for super cheap and in your own home with no professional equipment? Then grab a coffee, get comfy, and keep watching. So firstly, I scouted Pinterest for some initial inspiration, and then when I'm feeling creative, I sit down and I draw out my ideas that I want to do. Now these are just really rough drawings, uh, but by doing this, it makes me way more efficient during the shoot, which is key when you have an impatient baby. And it also helps me work out what I need to buy for the shoot as well. So once I know what I want to do, I then go into town and get all the bits I need. I always try Poundland and Wilco's first, as everything is super cheap, and usually they have everything you need there as well. Uh, especially if it's seasonal, like this shoot, they tend to have loads and loads of props you can use. I like keeping it simple though, so I literally just bought a few extra pumpkins, I wanted it to be nice and natural, um, not tacky with lots of tinsel and things everywhere. In total, I've spent less than £10 on everything, uh, but you can definitely do it for cheaper than that as well. Generally, I like to plan around seven or eight different poses, and then I try and do at least one a day. I give myself about a week for a photo shoot. Obviously you don't get much time when you have a really young baby, so I give myself a bit of grace and I give myself quite a long time to get these shoots done. So the weather this week is just awful, so all of these photos are actually gonna be done inside, which is proof you don't need a garden to do shoots like these. So the main photo I wanted to get done was the classic baby in a pumpkin shot. Um, <laughs> It's really cliche, but super cute for obvious reasons. It's the only shot that I actually needed to prepare for as well. All the others are pretty simple. So to prepare for this shoot, buy a really big pumpkin, big enough to put your baby inside and bring it outside with a bin bag and get a sharp knife and a spoon as well. Carefully cut the top off and then start scraping the inside with a spoon and scoop out the insides. Make sure you get all of it out so the inside is nice and smooth. Then very carefully cut out some leg holes as well. You can tidy these edges up after. Once it's all done, give your pumpkin a good wash so there's no mud on it, then leave it inside with the top off overnight so the inside dries out and it's no longer super slimy. Make sure you put a plastic bag underneath it as well just in case. Then once you're ready, you can start setting up. When shooting inside with no professional lighting, you want to place your subject next to a big window or maybe a French doors. That way you can get nice directional light as well, which kind of mimics professional lighting as close as possible. I have a white wall opposite my French doors in my kitchen, so I'm going to set up there. Once you're ready, make sure you put a towel or a muslin inside the pumpkin as well, just to make it extra comfy for the baby. And also, if your baby's not quite sitting up yet, make sure you get a smaller towel and roll it up as well and pop it behind their back just so they're a bit more secure and they're sitting upright as well. You don't want any accidents. Now I'll be shooting this on my Nikon Z6 II uh, with the 50mm 1.4 lens, but you can also do this on your phone as well. If you're an iPhone user, select portrait mode and find the little F in the top corner. Choose a wider aperture like 2.8 or F4 and this will make the background blurred. That mimics the effect of using a wide lens if you don't have any professional camera equipment. Finally, place your baby inside and you're good to go. Here are the results. I 
I wasn't loving the white wall that much to be honest so the next day I set up again in my office instead with the green wall and I absolutely love the results. And here are the final results of these images. Now for my next photo, I'm still gonna be using the pumpkin, but not have him inside it. I'm gonna just do some varied posing with all the different pumpkins. And here are the results of that. And that's all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like for the algorithm and please consider subscribing as well. And that's all from me. I've been Abby from Abby Journal Photography and I'll see you next time.